My name is Josef Strobe. I'm at the University of Salzburg, Austria, currently leading the worldwide Unicast distance learning program. So consider myself primarily an educator and secondarily a researcher too. Well, the keyword is of open today has become a buzzword. We've come across that, we are still coming across that in many different respects, publications, software. Of course, it's most frequently confused with being free, the proverbial free like in free beer versus open access uh, and usability for any other follow-up products. Overall, we are very much happy about this movement towards open resources. We certainly are going to leverage this uh, within the realm of education. Open education as such would be primarily a policy statement. We could understand that it should be easily accessible without main financial, organizational and entry-level constraints. In this particular sense, when we talk about open education, resources. It's a coming together of open access to software products, to data sources and open access publications. Uh, well, open educational resources are today highly relevant in not only education in general, but in particular for geoinformatics, for GS education. Uh, there is a couple of factors contributing to that. Of course, we are in a sense a technology and technical discipline. So we depend a lot on software tools or methods coded in software. And for many people, the high cost of licensing is considered an obstacle, uh, which in most cases also does not directly affect education. Software vendors typically are forthcoming, assisting education, uh, but of course educators have the responsibility to convey a bit of skills in a direction which is not a huge obstacle after entering the professional practice. Maybe more importantly would be the realm of data. Quite often or traditionally we've been uh, using data sets representing study areas uh, which were documented together with software products. So we're working, we're working often with either demo data from the software or with restricted data sets uh, which represent maybe the immediate environment of the study location of one particular study areas. So students quite often grow up with one data set, which obviously is not such a good idea. So open access to data essentially worldwide from different domains makes it possible to individualize learning. So not every student is going through the same sequence of steps on the same data set, but we as educators have the opportunity to challenge students with individual tasks or assignments makes it much more interesting for the student because they can go to their hometown or to their preferred location maybe planning the next vacation and doing that with a data set which is easily accessible worldwide so this individualization of learning uh, is in some way a counterweight balancing the approach of what I call a buttonology. Students go through prepared or pre-prepared assignments uh, and then believe, get the feedback they would know what they do and they very well know how to do it but often don't really have the idea what they do and why they do that. Uh, well, when software vendors provide uh, their training data sets, which by the way is an excellent offer, I really appreciate the easy access and the easy entry level. It's exactly that, um, because we will need to rely on the products, software products training facilities that might be exercises, that might be just step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. And yeah, they of course have to come with data sets. We are in the geospatial domain, so first we have to model some part of the earth and then we do something with that. So essentially I would relegate that to the area of training. This is something we, in most academic environments, we don't feel ourselves be compelled to do. Uh, this today can be easily relegated to self-learning, to self-study. Students are very happy to uh, acquire software skills on their own, and this is where vendors, products, where vendors support uh, with training facilities, either online, or offline with proper documentation and data sets would come into play.